Welcome back everyone for our second online Kids Church. We're so glad that you're able to join us this weekend and we can't wait to get started. So this week, hey, we're sorry, actually- Hey, sorry, Can I borrow a dollar? There's a chocolate bar on sale right now. They're blowing them out. So I just need a dollar. Can I borrow a dollar? Sure, sure, Ben. There you go. I love Snickers. Okay. Uh, that was weird. Yeah. So this week, we're going to, do you want to share what we're going to be talking about this week? This week, we're actually starting to talk about a Bible story from the book of Luke about Jesus. This month, we've been learning all about parables. Hey, Rayanne. They didn't have Snickers, but they had Smarties, so. What do you want, Ben? We're oh. in the middle of something. Right no, now. but. I saw these really nice shoes online. Okay. And I was thinking, yeah. my shoes are getting pretty old. And so I was wondering, like I'm not gonna be able to pay you back that dollar, but do you have like $40 to, so I can buy some shoes? They're on sale. It's a great deal, on sale. But like you'll pay me back, right? Oh yeah, of course, of course. I'll pay you back for sure. Okay. I mean, I got enough Smarties and they're really yummy. Okay. And I just need 40, it's just $40. Okay. Do you have enough? Is that okay? Yeah. Uh, I'll come back and show you yeah, the shoes sometime. Yeah, you know sometime, what? It's no okay? problem. It's no problem. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah. Okay, like I was saying, we'd be talking about a parable from the book of Luke that Jesus was teaching all about forgiveness this week. So, yeah, I'm really excited. To so, guys, it turns out these shoes weren't actually new. They were used. But still, $40 is a great deal. Great deal for shoes. Let me tell you. Okay, so uh, are you able to pay me back? Oh, no, 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 no. I don't have a job. Yeah, yeah, I, I just like shoes, so yeah, thanks guys, have a great day, bye. Did you just see that? That was really weird. Ben just borrowed $41 from me, and he said he can't pay me back. Well, what are you gonna do about it? Are you gonna ask for the money back? Well, I'm kind of upset, because he said that he would pay me back, and now he just bought some Smarties, hmm. and some used sneakers, and he doesn't have a job to pay me back. Well, I guess there's only one other option. You're gonna have to forgive him and the debt that he owes you. But Elaine, he he took $41 from me. Well, Jesus wants to tell us more about forgiveness in the Bible. So why don't I teach about our Bible story today so you can find out more about how to forgive them. I might have to hear a little bit more about that before I make my decision. Well, this is our last week of learning about Revealed, about the parables of Jesus. In our Bible story today, we're going to be talking about a parable as well. We're going to be talking about how God forgives me. God also forgives you. And just like Rayanne had to forgive Pastor Ben when he borrowed money today, we're going to be learning more about how God wants to forgive all of our sins. It doesn't matter if we've sinned a little bit or we've sinned a lot, God wants to forgive us. Today, our Bible story is coming from Luke chapter 7. We're going to be talking a lot about forgiveness, about how God wants us to know that He has forgiven so much. Today, we're going to be starting in verse 36. Jesus was invited to a Pharisee's house for dinner. As Pastor Ryan and I have been talking about Pharisees all month, we've been talking about how Pharisees knew the law. They knew the rules. They knew all about God's rules about sin. Well, Jesus went to the Pharisee's house and we find out that this Pharisee's name was Simon. So he went to the Pharisee's house. He took his place at the table. There's a woman in that town who had lived a very sinful life. Everyone knew that she was a sinner. She learned that Jesus was eating at the Pharisee's house. So she came there with a very special jar of perfume. It probably cost actually a lot of money. She came there with this jar of perfume and she stood behind Jesus and she started to cry at his feet. And as she began to wet his feet with her tears, then she decided she was going to wipe her, use her hair to wipe his feet clean. She kissed them and poured perfume on them. The Pharisees who had invited Jesus saw this. He said to himself, if this man were a prophet, he would know who is touching him. He would know what kind of woman she is. She's a sinner. Jesus answered him, Simon, I have something to tell you, he said. 
two people owed to a certain lender a lot of money. One person owed him 500 silver coins and the other person owed him 50 silver coins. Neither of them had the money to pay him back. So the lender was so kind and gracious, he forgave them both, all the money, both the 500 and the 50 coins. Which of them do you think would show his love more? Simon replies, I suppose the one who owed the most money. You're right, Jesus said. Then he turned toward the woman and he said, Simon, do you see this woman who came to your house? I came to your house. You did not give me any water to wash my feet. You did not give me oil and pour it on my head. You did nothing to honor me when I came to your home. And yet this woman, as soon as she came in, she started to wet my feet with her tears. She started to wash my feet with her hair. She started to be so kind and gracious to me. She has shown that she understands this by her great acts of love. But whoever has been forgiven only a little, loves only a little. Then Jesus said to her, your sins are forgiven. The other guests began to talk this about themselves. Who is this man that can forgive sins? Jesus said to the woman, your faith has saved you. Go in peace. Today in our Bible story in Luke chapter 7, Jesus was teaching about forgiveness and how it doesn't matter how much we owe to someone, whether we owe them 500 coins or 50 coins, that Jesus wants to forgive any amount of sin that we have. Speaking about money, I wonder what Pastor Rianne decided to do with the money that Pastor Ben owed her. You know, Pastor Elaine, I've had some time to think about it. Good. And I think even though I was upset about the money that Pastor Ben borrowed from me and didn't give back, I think I do need to forgive him. I yeah. Think, I think that's a really wise choice. Because I know that Jesus has forgiven me for a lot of things. And so mm -hmm. that means that I should also forgive other people for things, right? Yeah. I mean, there's times that we hurt people and sometimes we are asking people to forgive us. Yeah, that's true. Maybe we should pray about that. Can I ask you to pray maybe today? Maybe for the kids at home, you can pray with us that God would forgive us because we know that he loves us so much and he can help us forgive those that hurt us. Mm -hmm. Do you mind leading us in a prayer? Yeah, let's pray together. Let's pray. So God, we thank you that no matter what we have done or what we might do, that you forgive us for everything that we have done wrong. But God, I pray that you would also remind us that even when people do things that are wrong to us, whether it's a friend or a sibling or a stranger, God, that we can forgive them also for what they do to us because you show forgiveness to us and to them. So I pray that you would help us remember that this week, no matter what we go through, that we can remember that you love us and you want to forgive us. And we pray all this in your name. Amen. Amen. What a great lesson that we can all learn together this week. We're so glad that we can still remain connected on the weekends, even though we're all at our homes and we can't gather together here at the church. But don't forget that you can still connect with us during the week. Parents, if you're listening, or if they're not kids, make sure you tell them, check your emails. We are sending out content twice a week, every Tuesday and every Thursday to your emails. If you're not getting it, it might've been going to your junk folder. So make sure you're checking that out because we're sending out devotionals and activities for your kids to do during the week. And so you don't wanna miss out on that. Also, make sure you go to our website, bpchurch.ca slash kids, and you'll find all of our weekend content there. And if you're not getting our emails, you can even sign up for emails there so that you're not missing out on anything during the week. A special thanks to Pastor Ben McAllister for being in our video today, and we can't wait to see you next time. Bye for now. Okay. I really do like Smarties a lot. <laughs> It's so yummy. I had five boxes. They were on sale. Five for one. Ben, you took 41 of my dollars. Yeah, but Smarties, Ray. Smarties. Shoes and Smarties. They're so good. Let me tell you a little <laughs> bit more about Smarties. Okay? They're colorful. They're candied. They're chocolate. 
It's the best of both worlds. And they're good for you. They're called smart food. And sneakers, you need them. They're a necessity. So why would someone be upset if I bought sneakers and Smarties? The no, the Bible doesn't say anything about those things. 